What can you sue someone for? That's a big question with a very broad answer. But in this video, we're going to talk about just some of the framework, big ideas that you should consider when you're figuring out whether you can sue someone or whether someone can sue you for something that might have happened. I'm Mark Lida from Lida Law Firm. Let's get started. There's no way that we could list in this video everything that you can and cannot sue someone for or be sued for. But we're going to talk about the big ideas surrounding this question. So the first big idea is this. Clients often ask, can I get sued for XYZ? The answer is always yes. In America, we do allow people access to the courts. What that means is that sometimes there are frivolous lawsuits. Those lawsuits may be dismissed summarily in the beginning stages of the litigation, but I like to tell clients to always be prepared and to know that really you can be sued for anything. It may be a frivolous lawsuit, but the answer to can I get sued for this is always yes. It's important to know that you have access to the courts of this country if you're living here, even if you are not a citizen of the United States. So sometimes people get into really bad situations and feel powerless, like they can't sue because they don't have citizenship, but that's not the case. You can vindicate your rights in court. People don't have carte blanche access to, um, to hurt you without consequences. You have rights in court, even if you're not a United States citizen. So in civil law, there are two big categories for lawsuits, torts and contracts. Contract lawsuits are about anything that comes out of a contract that you have with somebody else. So we have a contract to buy and sell real estate and we get in a fight about it. Whatever it is, if it comes out of a written agreement or even just a oral agreement, that is a contract-based claim. Now a tort claim is basically anything that isn't a contract based claim. You slip and fall on the sidewalk, that's a tort. Any kind of negligence is a tort. Somebody does something against you intentionally to hurt you, that's a tort. So those are the two basic categories, contracts and torts. And the way to think about it is contract claims are based in a contract and torts are everything else. What about things you cannot sue for? There are a lot of misconceptions about what types of claims you can bring in court. At least in Colorado, you cannot sue someone for purely emotional distress. You may have a harassment claim or something like that, but unless you have some sort of economic damage, you cannot bring a purely non-economic damage claim. In other words, somebody made me feel really bad. I can't sue for that unless they also you know, hurt my business or did something that prevented me from going to work and then I lost money. Some sort of economic damages like that. The non-economic damages like purely emotional distress can only be attached to a case where there are economic damages. They cannot stand on their own as a lawsuit. You cannot sue somebody for saying bad things against you unless what they said against you was also untrue. The exception to this is you might have a non-disparagement agreement contract with somebody and if they say something bad about you, you can sue under that contract. But typically, if somebody's out there saying terrible things about you, you can't sue them or at least you can't sustain a lawsuit against them unless what they're saying against you is provably false. If somebody's saying an opinion against you, that's a really negative opinion. You also cannot sue for that because that's protected under their free speech rights. Typically, you can't sue for something that might happen in the future. There has to be an actual injury to some sort of interest that you have, some sort of legally protected right or property that you have uh, in order to sue. It can't be speculation about what might happen in the future. Of course, there are exceptions to that, like if there's some sort of imminent harm, you might get a court to intervene on your behalf, but typically you cannot sue somebody until you actually have been 
injured, whether that's physically or monetarily, you can't sue for something that may or may not happen in the future for the most part. So we could go on all day about things you can and can't sue for, but those are just the basic big ideas of the types of claims that you can bring and the common misconceptions about types of claims that you cannot bring. Thanks for watching and please remember to click like and to subscribe to help keep legal education accessible for small business owners.